What it do, homies? It's your boy, Dave, and I'm back today. We are here with some home free. It's time to check out have yourself a very uh, merry little Christmas. Um, I am super late to this. I don't know how I missed it, uh, but I'm here now. Let's go ahead and shut up and turn it up. Ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> please help me in welcoming our very special guest tonight, live in the studio, performing Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas. It's home free. <laughs> Powerful opening. Matching sweaters. Ooh, ooh, ooh. See, one thing I really love, especially when we're when we're looking at um covers of songs, is it's interesting harmonies, right? Interesting chords, right? That was a that was a jazz chord right there. If I'm not mistaken, that was nice. Also, matching sweaters. Those sweaters are hard. Look at the collars. I ain't never seen sweaters like that. See, see, when they come out with matching sweaters, that's how you know this is about to be good, right? Okay. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Let your heart be. before the next one starts singing i love the contrast that we have here right as uh as tim started coming in and just really just really killing us you know what is what is nice little bass voice and everything but the harmonies that's going on in the background that's carried by the rest of the members um it's it's so pleasing it's so warming to the ear right is that it's just it's just nicely blending in in the background but wait it's a trap right because then they came out and said ooh, wow. and then all of a sudden you're like whoa what's going on right i didn't open up my present a little bit too early that's what that sounded like and then it was almost kind of like an ode to what was about to happen which obviously they opened up but um but the the fact that it was kind of keep that dynamic the dynamics there and just make it so so smooth nobody's louder than the others just smooth and then when they need to jump out they did and it was such a surprise okay right. Have yourself a merry yeah. little Christmas. Those are jazz drums. Again. As in olden days, happy golden days of your faithful friends who are dear to us, gather near to us once more. You better go, Austin. Awesome. You better go ahead and sing it off, man. Yo, the chords are straight sending me. The harmonies, they are sending me, man. A lot of work went into this. A whole lot of work. You know, the chords serve as a foundation to anything. Everything is built off chords and, you know, harmonization, the type of notes that you want to play and everything. It's literally the foundation. But I can, I can hear, right, the amount of hard work that they went through to make this very, 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 very unique, right? And I feel like if you are able to take, you know, a, a, a song like this, right? Something that's sung a lot and then and then kind of jazz it up, right? That will bring a lot of interesting, uh, that will bring a lot of interesting, unique experiences to a lot of, to a lot of viewers, right? Because they're listeners, uh, because not a lot of people like listening to jazz, right? And there's a whole lot of complexities and stuff, especially when it comes to music theory, whenever we're, whenever you're listening to jazz, especially if you start listening to like, like, like classical stuff, you know what I mean? Um, cause whew, these get real complex, but when you, when you, when you borrow elements from, from a jazz genre and you kind of inject it into kind of like a, like a traditional song like this, right? It gives the listeners something completely different from what they're used to hearing. Like I said, especially if you're not 
especially if you're not used to listening to jazz. And for me, right outside of, you know, the uh, Austin and, and Tim, and I don't know if anybody else is going to start singing. Uh, we might get Rob singing as well uh, with their lead because, you know, they're going to blow us away. The harmonies, right? The foundation is what I believe to be carrying this song and giving us that unique listening experience. Through the years of we all will be together if the fates allow hang a shining star up on the highest Uh, he, came, he came at the end, buddy, but 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 he, he sold it, he took us home. So so one more thing before we before we leave here, right? So so I keep talking about harmonies and everything, but the structure of this that that just happened here. Let's, let's listen to it again. So, so, so right here, I don't want to stop, but, but you've heard this, you, the progression that they're about to go through, right? You've heard this before. It was like, ba, 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 but it didn't do that, right? The third time they went, ba, ba, uh, right? So, so it's, it's almost like it's a, it's, it's, it's false, right? It's like, a, it's like a false sense. I don't, oh, I don't know. The terminology, but it's a false sense because, because like my musical sense, like we, we was looking for a resolution, right? And usually, you know, you can hear the resolution being set up during the third progression, right? Um, but they didn't do that. It went ba 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 ba. I don't know. I don't know. All I know is that the resolution to this harmony that I thought that I was going to hear, I did not. And it and it happened because of what they did during this third progression. Now, mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'm tripping. Maybe I'm tripping, but my senses are going ring a ding a ding a ding a ding. <laughs> All right, I know I was late to this, but we finally got to it. That's the end of this video. If you enjoyed the content, leave a like and subscribe. Dave's out.